Hey boys and girls, it's Jacqueline from SNA and today I'm going to show you guys how to make your own fire breathing dragons. Awesome, okay. So to make our fire breathing dragons, we're going to need a few items. We're going to need some scissors. We're going to need some glue, glue and tape. We're going to need a paper toilet roll. We're going to need some googly eyes some pom-poms, and a pipe cleaner, or two pipe cleaners. We're also going to need some, uh, we're gonna need some crayons or markers to decorate our dragons. And we're also going to need some foam paper and some construction paper. So for my dragon, I'm going to be making a green dragon. That's why I have a green pipe cleaner and green pom-poms and green foam paper, but you guys can make whatever color dragon you want to make. It's all up to you. And for my construction paper, I'm getting some orange and red construction paper for my dragon's fire. So you guys can get like orange or red or yellow to use for the fire. Um, you guys can also use a different color. So like if you want your dragon to breathe um, water instead, you guys can get red, um, you guys can get um, blue instead for water if you want to. It's all up to you. Awesome. Okay, so to make our dragon, the first step is to take foam, our foam piece, and we're going to cut it so that it's going to fit around our roll. So you guys see, I've already cut mine, and I'm going to take my tape or my glue, and I'm going to just add it on to my to my toilet paper roll so it fits nicely. So I'm just gonna add on a tape, piece of tape there. Get another piece of tape. I can also use glue, like I said. It's all up to you. I'm just going to add it on. And once it's done, it's going to look something like this. And I'll show you guys what I mean in one second. So it's gonna look something like this. You can see it's nice and covered. And this is going to be like the, the face of our dragon. So for this activity, we're just making the face. Awesome, okay. So now that I have my head cut out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my googly eyes. So yeah, as you can see here, I have my googly eyes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my pom-poms and I'm going to glue my pom-poms onto my googly eyes. So this is gonna be like, this is going to be like the little, little bump with the eye on it and we're gonna put it like right on so you guys can see that it's like upwards so we can see the eye. You guys do not have to do this if you don't want to. You can always just draw on your eyes, but I think it's, it's cool. It's something you can do if you want to. And you guys can just take your glue. You guys can just add lots of glue to your pom-pom and like I said before, you guys can choose any color you want your pom-pom to be. I'm going with green, but choose any color. Just add lots of glue. Make sure it's nice and sticky, nice and on. Awesome, it's gonna look something like this. Looking pretty good. I'm gonna do the same with the other one. I'm gonna add lots of glue onto my pom-pom. And then I'm gonna stick my eye on. I'm just gonna take my eye and stick it right on. Make sure it's nice and secure. Just like that. Awesome. Okay, so the next step is to take our pipe cleaners. So you guys can get two pipe cleaners or one, and you guys can either take two pipe cleaners or you can take one and you can cut it in half. And what you can do is you can just fold it. This is going to be our um, our our uh, dragon's like nose, like our little nose, like our nose holes. <laughs> And what we're gonna do is we're going to like wrap it around so it looks like a little, like a little, um, you guys can see like a little swirl. This is going to be our nose, a little nose holes. And I made one and I can make another one using the other half or I can do a full one, it's up to you. You guys can make them a little bit less you can see there's a lot of space in my nose holes. You guys can make yours smaller if you want to. It's all up to you. It's all good. Awesome. 
So once you're done, they're going to look something like this. And I'll show you. And coil them up like this. Awesome. And once you guys are done, you guys can take out your construction paper. And what you can do is you can take out your orange and red construction paper and you can make some nice thin lines. And this is going to be for our dragon's fire. So you guys can see, I just made one right now. So you can see it's a nice thin like sheet. And I already made a couple using my red. So you guys can see they're, they're nice. They're maybe a little bit too big. That's okay, I can always make it smaller. And they're like nice little long strips. Some of them are a little bit pointy, that's good. It's all up to you guys. And once you're done, you can make about like maybe eight or 10 of these strips. And once you're done, uh, you guys are gonna have like a little bundle like this and you guys can see it kinda looks like fire already, which is pretty cool. Okay, awesome. So once you guys have your fire made, our last step is to take our roll and we're going to add them, add it all together. Awesome. Okay, so to add our, all of our stuff together, we're gonna to take start by taking our uh, glue and we're going to glue, we're gonna take our glue or our tape and we're going to put in the strips. So you guys can put your eyes if you want on first, but I find this is the easiest way to start. So you guys can start by putting in your, your fire. It's just a little bit easier to put in if you do it first, but it's up to you. You guys don't have to put your fire in first, but if you want to, it's, it makes it a little bit easier. You guys can see I'm adding in my fire. I'm just gluing on, I'm gluing it. My roll, taking my time, adding it in. You guys can use tape too if you want to, if it makes it a little bit easier, you guys can always use tape. Let's just tape, tape it on if I want to instead. It makes it a little bit easier. You guys can see it's already coming together, it already looks really cool. It already looks like fire a little bit. And I can just keep on adding tape or glue until I put in all my fire. So I can just add it into the side. And once I'm done adding in all of my, my uh, fire, you guys can take your time, pause the video, but once I'm done, I'm going to take the other two parts I made. So I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take my googly eyes of the pom-poms. I'm going to stick that onto my dragon, my dragon's head. So on the other side of where your fire is, you can just add it on, add on your googly eyes. You guys can see I've added it on. It might, you might need to put some tape if it keeps on falling off, but it's going to look something like that. How cool is that, guys? You can see I already have the eyes. And now I can take my little nose that I made, my two little nose pieces, my nose hole, and I can either glue or tape that on. Maybe I'll try tape. And I'll just tape it on to my, um, to the bottom of my, uh, my bottom of my uh, roll, so right next to my fire. And I'll show you guys what it looks like in one second. So you guys can see now I have my little nose holes and I taped it on and you guys can see it's right next to my fire. So he's like going, achoo! You guys can see it's his nose and he's like breathing fire. Or I guess it's not his nose that has fire, it's his mouth that has fire, but that's okay. <laughs> it's still cool. So you guys can see once I'm done, I have everything on. I have my nose, I have my head, my uh, eyes, and I have my fire coming out and it looks so cool guys. Like look how cool that looks. If you want to, you can get your crayons out and you can start adding some like, you can add some scales if you want to. Maybe you can take your paper, like if you have some extra red paper or any color, and maybe you can like cut some like scales out to put on your dragon, like little spikes. It's all up to you. Once you're done, you can take your dragon, you can, you can pretend you're the dragon, like you can go rawr and go ah. <laughs> it's cool. It's really cool. And you guys can give your dragon a name. I think I'm going to name my dragon S'mores because he's using his fire to make s'mores for me because I love s'mores. Awesome. <laughs> Toasted marshmallows. Okay. Awesome. So once you guys are done adding all your details in, you're all good to go. Thank you so much for listening, guys. And I hope you have an awesome time making your amazing dragons. Have a great time, give your dragon a good name, and I'll see you guys next time.
Bye, everyone.